Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. <laughs> so nobody asked or requested for this video but I'm making it anyway. So I felt like filming and I felt like making and eating some donuts. So I thought, yeah, why not just film and make a YouTube video out of, out of it? <laughs> I can't actually remember the last time I ate donuts. Uh, I made donuts once before, like 2015 maybe, so it's been a few years, but uh, yeah, hopefully this turns out good. If not, well, that's just life. I'm gonna film anyway. <laughs> so the recipe I'm gonna be using is uh, from uh, a Swedish magazine called Vego Gourmet. Uh, Vegomir. Vegomir. I don't know. Anyway, it's just a basic donut recipe, I guess. And I'm just gonna top them with some like chocolate, some uh, sprinkles, some peanuts. Uh, actually, <laughs> when I was in the store, I, I realized that I don't know if sprinkles are vegan. So, in a panic, I took a photo of these. And uh, posted on my Instagram, was like, quick reply, are these vegan? And at first it was like 50 50, uh, but it, the majority of people answered that yes, it was vegan. And I also did some research uh, online, and according to a Swedish website, these are vegan. So they don't have any gelatin, they don't have any uh, like bee wax. They don't have any carmen either. So, like I was so unsure because things that are colored pink usually have E120, which is uh, like a carmen, or what's it called? Like lice. Uh, and that is not considered vegan. And yeah, so if these aren't vegan, um, whoops. But from what I can understand, they are vegan, so yeah. Anyway, let's make some donuts because they need to yeast and rise and all of that. And yeah, I need donuts now. <laughs> melt 200 gram butter with 500 milliliters uh, plant-based milk. that get to finger temperature. Pour in a little bit at a time to uh, dissolve the yeast. Now I'm just going to add in the rest of the ingredients. So uh, 90 grams sugar teaspoon salt, 15 to 17 deciliter uh, flour, and one deciliter is 60 grams, so do the math, maths, <laughs> like a shilo uh, flour, and then just like let it mix.
waiting is the worst part. Uh, it was supposed to mix like this for 15 minutes and I feel like it's been 15 minutes. I don't really know. I think it's fine. Okay, that's stuck. Yes. Okay, so it looks like this. And I'm gonna let it yeast for 40 minutes. Cover it. And uh, yeah, now it's just a wait. I don't actually know how many donuts this recipe is gonna make, but I feel like I should have halved it, considering that it's just one person. <laughs> but I am gonna meet friends this weekend, so I guess I'll have to bring a bunch of donuts then. Um, yeah, they were all on diets, but uh, they're gonna have to make an exception. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm gonna clean up. Yeah, uh, I will see you in uh, 40 minutes. Or like, one second. <laughs> that the dough has risen. <laughs> this is gonna be so many donuts. I don't even know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> so what's going to happen now is that I'm gonna form these into donuts and then fry them in oil. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about that because I don't wanna burn myself. I might try baking some of them. I'll see kind of how it goes with the frying and uh, yeah then it's time to decorate and eat so I'm just gonna kind of uh, speed the next segment until I decorate and eat. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> okay, how, what? How big are my donuts supposed to be? I don't know if I'm supposed to flour it. Because they got they're gonna puff up when you uh, fry them. It's good.
gonna have to sit down here. Okay, it, <laughs> it is now time to decorate. Uh, ah. I'm gonna do a little taste test of one of these knots. Okay, I'm gonna get chocolate everywhere, but I'm just gonna go for it. Which one do I choose? It's good. If I get chocolate on my face in this part, just, you know, forget it. Um. I understand why people in USA love donuts because these are like soft, still slightly warm. <clears throat> Turned out really good. Mm. Okay, so that is the end of the, this video. Uh, just a kind of random making donuts with me video recipe as well, I guess. Um, I wanted donuts, I wanted to film. That resulted in this. Um, so I think I made, I, d I didn't count how many donuts I made, but like 20 I'm guessing. So I'm gonna freeze in like 18 of them. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more, I think. Um, yeah, that uh, really, really good. This recipe works great. I will link the recipe down below. It's in Swedish, but I said I said the quantities and I showed you how I made it. Um, so with the oil, you know, you shouldn't pour oil down the drain. So I'm gonna pour it into a glass jar or a plastic bag or maybe not plastic, but into something and then throw away I guess. I'll have to do some research what I'm gonna do with the leftover oil. Um, yeah, frying on medium heat. It should, it should be like warm so they fry but not so warm that they burn before like cooking all the way through. Because I did try one of them. Um, 
but it was still far too doughy, but it was like burnt on the outside. So yeah, think about that. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed the end result. Make some donuts. Tag me if you do uh, on It's a Healthy Lifestyle on Instagram. I now have a bunch of cleaning up to do. I'm gonna try to ed edit this video and um, I, will see <laughs> I will see you all soon with a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment down below if you want more of these types of videos, just me cooking or whatever. I'm gonna try to not overthink YouTube or videos so much, just film when I feel like it and um, have a lovely week, eat some donuts, and... I will see you all next week. So, let's give these a try. I don't know if I should let the chocolate, like, harden.